If you're looking for an easy reward system for your toddlers, I have the perfect system. I call it the pom-pom system because that's their rewards, but it has worked so well with my boys and I've seen like a night and day difference. So if you're struggling with behavior or getting them to do chores around the house, this system is perfect for those type of things. I graduated in elementary education and I taught school for four years before quitting to have my kids. My boys are four years old now and in the last year their behavior was getting you know worse and it was hard for me to get them to do chores around the house so I came up with this system. It's been really nice to be able to use my knowledge from teaching in my home as a mom. I love this system and I'm just gonna talk a little bit about it. I also have printables that you can purchase and print and laminate and put in your house so it's easy for them to follow and understand. So let's talk about the pom-pom system. As a teacher, the number one thing that helped with my students was positive reinforcement. I found that the more positive feedback and more positive rewards that I gave, the better the behavior was. And the more you focus on positive and less on the negative, the more their behavior will change. So that's what I love about this little reward system. I just went to the dollar store, bought this jar, and labeled their name on it. Super simple, I even got the pom-poms from the dollar store as well. Every time they complete a chore, do something nice, share a toy, they get one pom-pom in their jar. The more pom-poms, the different rewards that they can get. I've created this reward chart to show what my kids' rewards are. So another thing about this reward chart, you can create any reward that you want. So one pom-pom, maybe you don't want to do candy in your house, and you can do something else exciting. Um, whatever your kids like to do. Maybe if they get 10 pom-poms, they get to go on a bike ride with you. You can decide what you want your reward system to be. This is just what I decided. I also created this cute little chart um, showing about what you can do to earn a pom-pom because sometimes my boys will have four pom-poms and they just really want one more so that they can get a toy and they're always like, what should I do? What can I, how can I get a pom-pom? They always run to the dishwasher. Is the dishwasher clean? So I created this chart so I can say, go to the chart, look at the chart. What is something that you can do to get a pom-pom? And it's so cute because they go look on it and figure out what they can do to earn a pom-pom. So this is their toy bin. I put it on top of the fridge so they can't get to it. Um, and there's just random toys that I've picked up from the floor at night that they've left out and I just put in here. So they're just recycled toys. And somehow, because it's in this basket, it's exciting and new and they want it. Um, sometimes we could go to the dollar store and they pick out a couple toys and then the toys go in the basket and then they have to earn those toys. So that's something else you can do if you're out grocery shopping and they're asking for something, you could say, okay, well we can put that in the pom-pom basket. This has like been the most exciting thing. They love it. They love, you know, trying to earn it. One thing to keep in mind is never take a pom-pom out of the jar for bad behavior. Once it's there, it's there. Really, we want to focus on the positive and putting the positive reinforcement. So just start looking for the positive and I promise like it will come. Another reason I like the pom-pom system, it's kind of a way of currency. And so they learn how to count, they learn to pay me for something, they learn to save their pom-poms if they want an iPad time instead of a toy, or you know they want the toy instead of a candy. So it teaches a good like life lessons as well, which is why I like it. Another reason I love the pom-pom system is it's so dang easy. You just have the jar, the pom-poms, the charts, it's done. It makes so much sense. Even a little toddler can understand and follow. And it's worked really well with my boys. The main thing that I want you to remember is positive, positive, positive reinforcement in kids. The more positive, the better it will go. Focus on the positive, point out the positive. If you have multiple kids and one's doing the good thing and they're cleaning, you know, really emphasize what that kid's doing. Oh, so glad that John's doing that. Oh, you get a pom-pom, John. And then it will like help the other kids as well, like get excited and just focus on the positive. So remember that and I hope this helps and it's worked really well with me and it's super easy. 
for anyone to get and understand. And if you want to print the charts off below, there's a link below it.